our, our quarters coverage is what we are going to play uh, most of the day. If, if, we don't, uh, if we don't have an idea of what we're going to get, run or pass, or maybe even formation, uh, we're, four checks is going to be what we're going to call in the secondary. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we make a front call uh, you know, to our front six players, and then we'll also make a secondary call uh, and allow them to communicate the call to the linebackers on what we're going to do out of the secondary. Now, what four checks is, four is what we are going to play to the read side of the coverage. So if you look at, uh, you look at this diagram here, Four is quarters for us, obviously, all right? And what we're going to do here, this is our read side. It's to the passing strength. The free safety walks over here, and he, he'll give coverage call, uh, call four to the right, and that's where we're going to play essentially our three-on-two zone uh, over these two receivers. So uh, to get started here, and, and – there's one, one thing we did a few years ago, and, and I know this is different, and it's a little uh, – we, we certainly had some anxiety with it when we first started, but we play our strong safety or our gorilla on the outside of the number two receiver. Um, you know, we, we really struggled, uh, you know, a few years ago with that guy ever getting to the flat to defend shorter stuff, uh, the bubbles, the – you know, the, the quick game, stuff like that, it has really cured a lot of the problems uh, with the nickel and dime pass game that we've, we've sometimes experienced. And, you know, you got to give up things there, obviously. You know, can he still be a, a, a good fold and run support player? Uh, we have found that he actually might play it a little bit better because he's got, he's got better vision on the number two receiver as far as getting cut cut off to get in that window. And then, you know, with that, just you know, from a philosophy standpoint, our free safety is going to be a pretty hard run fit guy, at least as hard as we can get him, you know, to, to the play. So, um, you know, the gorilla, as far as his alignment, he's going to align outside number two slightly. He's going to key through the end man into the backfield, or it's going to be his, you know, his run pass key. I'm going to make sure we get in a good stance. We angle in just slightly, uh, put the back outside foot back, and get a good look at uh, what we're seeing out of the backfield. You know, we want to make sure we get good stance, alignment, a good key, and then take care of our assignment on what we do on every play. So if it's, uh, you know, if it's a run play, we certainly want to, you know, if we get ball at him, you know, we get a good fast key out of the tackle or out of the backfield. We want to come set this edge, you know, as hard and as vertical as we can, you know, to you know, basically eliminate D, D gap. Uh, don't make that too big of an area that people have to tackle in. If it's run away, uh, we, want to, we want to get in a fold angle to replace that linebacker uh, since he's leaving on a play away and get into that fold window, obviously with as square shoulders as we can and uh, best position to tackle. Um, if it's pass, uh, we're going to he's, – he's essentially a curl to flat player listening to the corner for some particular calls that we'll get into here a little bit, which would be China in and out. Uh, if he gets China on the pass, we're going to turn, and China is a quick set down underneath linebacker depth of number one, which he's going to turn and run and – basically play man-to-man -man defense uh, on the number one receiver. In and outs, telling him what number one is doing to tell him whether to stay in the curl or move to the flat. So uh, that guy's ended up being good player for us, really uh, uh, has become a good curl to flat player in quarters coverage. And we, just, we don't get beat in the flat near as often in quarters because of his alignment than maybe what we used to. It's really easy, and those of you guys that coach offense too, that guy lines up in here, you know, it's real easy to throw this one out here or this guy out here too often. And I don't why that's what – I was coaching offense. We were going to do that till he did something about it. And 
because of this guy's alignment, we find that less often to cover the weak spot of quarters coverage, which is the flat. So um, the free safety to the read side, because that's where he's going, we're going to take an alignment uh, that's best alignment in between the end man and the number two receiver. Obviously, if we feel like it's pass, we're going to align closer to two. If we feel like it's run, we may even tighten down and align closer to the box. Um, it's an eight to ten yard alignment, uh, again, depending on what we feel like is run or pass. All right? um, I absolutely 100% believe that your deep safeties need to key through the offensive line. It's just something that I'm comfortable with and feel better about it. Uh, standing back there forever and just seeing all the kinds of keys that you can see. I think it's really important that you stay off the quarterback with your keys for at least an, the initial key. I think you need to see the guards typically don't lie. And that's not always, we know that, but uh, um, we love to key through best linemen up there. It might be the tackle as well, but the tackles are getting so big and the zone schemes are getting loose enough, sometimes it's hard to tell between run and pass. So he will key through the guard and uh, uh, to get run and pass key. And then, you know, get as soon as it's passed, we're going to key through number two. Uh, if it's run, we're going to fill where needed. Um, I've said that in the last first two sessions, and that's exactly what we tell them. Uh, safeties, wherever they're at, keep the ball in between them uh, if it's run and push the ball to the other safety. Uh, and again, fill it up where the defense needs you to be. Uh, and that can be different places and don't want to give that a real strict definition. So um, if it's pass, uh, and this is something that I think is a key thing, and I've really learned a lot about this from the TCU guys, is that when this guy, he plays number two vertical, I think we all know that in – in uh, quarters coverage, all right? We certainly want to keep inside leverage on a, any vertical release out of anybody that's playing a vertical. Um, we've made it really important on a couple of things. Number one, we, we've tried to make it very important to our secondary, our, especially our interior uh, secondary players, including linebackers, that you don't let people cross your face. Keep people out of the middle of the field. Um, it's been really important for us to, to give that a lot of emphasis and coach that with intensity uh, so to keep this guy in inside leverage on a vertical release by number two. So it's important that we will, once we see pass, we will almost turn to this man and face him in a bail type of position so we can shuffle, bail, turn, cross over, and run and stay inside if that guy goes vertical. Now... What is a vertical? Okay, I've got, you know, always leave this note down there, but our defin def definition of a vertical is as soon as he clears the linebacker, he's now a vertical route. Now that's different. Now we all learned quarters, we learned it 20 years ago that, you know, it was 10 yards or 12 yards. Whenever he got that deep, that's when you picked him up. We've had a lot more luck just saying, hey, look, as soon as he clears linebacker or safety depth in their underneath drop, he's now a vertical. So if this gorilla would drop out of there, as soon as he clears by him, he's now in our man clue responsibilities. He's now vertical, and we have to take care of him. So um, that becomes a vertical, and then that is our responsibility with inside leverage. So... That's how we'll play read side quarters with the free safety. Alignment is certainly crucial. Don't get too deep. Don't be too shallow. Align off of a run or pass pre-snap key. Um, fill where needed on the run and then take care of number two vertical once he is vertical. If two leaves you, wherever he leaves and he's under, your eyes are going to go in that direction uh, to pick up our next threat, which if he goes out and underneath the gorilla, then our eyes go to number one, and we want to break flat towards the curl. Uh, speed turn, baseball turn, whatever turn you want to call it, 
out to help the post if you get that. If, if, you're, if number two takes us underneath the linebacker, our eyes are also going to go that direction and look for the first intermediate from the man side or the away side. That's been a little bit of an anti-mesh route move. Um, just because we're seeing that route quite a bit, whether it's, you know, whether he comes across here on the mesh, we want to pick that up, or uh, even uh, you know, we're seeing plenty of uh, if two comes, you know, two comes under, our eyes take us that way. We get a push out of here of some sort, and you get uh, the mesh out of this. Then we will help there. So. Uh, you know, now that necessarily doesn't help us on anything under by number two, underneath the Rambo, and then you get an inside cut here, uh, takes us away from that. So we have to be careful of that, and uh, you make sure we have to either adjust the gorilla or the corner to make up for that route. Um, but we are certainly conscious of it and want to take care of it.